So yeah, I got detained in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates, for a vibrator. Like, a sex toy. My own personal vibrator. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Who you think you is? You can't curse nobody. Look at you. You're black, you're poor, you're ugly, you're a woman, you're nothing at all. Do you do right by me? Everything you even think about gonna fail. Young female traveler was detained in Dubai because of her vibrator. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I want to have a story time about getting detained in Dubai. Um, it's a pretty funny story. It's actually pretty hysterical. So basically, on this layover, you know, being someone who's traveling long term, I do have everything that I need with me. So everything I need to live, I have currently with me in my pack and my carry-on. I do have my drone with me, and I was getting some hate when I was posting about getting detained in Dubai about my drone. Um, and yes, I looked it up. I knew drones were illegal, and I know that I knew that they were gonna take it, but they hold it until you leave. And I was only there two days. There wasn't really much I could do regarding this fact. Like, I knew they were gonna take it, but I also knew I was gonna get it back, so that, that was fine. What I was not prepared for is the actual thing that got taken and destroyed. So, mind you, this, this was in my carry-on luggage. And the reason it was in my carry-on luggage is because it's an object that's rather sensitive. So I didn't wanna put it in my pack and have luggage handlers be bumping it, throwing it, whatever, and it get turned on, because that would be maybe a little bit more awkward. Uh, so yeah, I got detained in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates, for a vibrator. <laughs> well, 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 well. Now guys, I, I came across this because, you know, I'm, I'm still following the sassy trucker uh, situation of her being arrested and jailed in dubai which is different from what happened to this young lady right here where she was just mainly detained in dubai uh per her you know now and i'm learning a lot of things uh in the u u uae or whatever because, you know, when you watch these videos and you watch movies and stuff like that, you know, they make these these foreign places look spectacular. You know, I, I've, I've seen plenty of videos of people vacationing in Dubai. As a matter of fact, uh, Fast 7 was was uh, filmed in parts of Dubai. You know, the part where the where the dude uh where the where brian and and dom had to drive the car out of the out of the building dom cars don't fly cars don't fly oh, They said that was filmed in Dubai. So they make it, they make Dubai like this go-to place to be. Now, a lot of times when we on the outside looking in, you know, it's all beautiful. We gotta go there. We gotta see what it's all about. But we don't know of the small things that can get us in trouble when we're there i.e she has a drone there's no drones there you can't you you can't take drones to dubai at all she knew that you know and she took account for that i didn't know that i didn't know you couldn't take a drone to dubai now i know you can't take sex toys there either <laughs> 
A vibrator. Homegirl got detained for a vibrator. Like, that's crazy. And what it, and what makes it even crazier that they made her destroy sign uh I guess a permission slip giving them permission to destroy the vibrator. And like she said, it wasn't like she had any choice or anything like that because they had her passport. And I guess if she would have said no or whatever, she would have been like, you know, they would have been like, okay, well, we're going to hold you until you say yes. So she was like, yeah, fine. Okay. Let's, yeah. All right. So a vibrator, y'all. A sex toy. So now I come to know that you can't raise your voice. You can't bring drones. And now you can't bring sex toys over in the UAE. Like a sex toy. My own personal vibrator. Yeah. So I was going into the country and I knew I was going to get flagged for my drone. But that's not what she mentioned at first. She actually, uh, this woman, she's very pregnant, pulled me to the side in the Dubai airport and is like, you have an adult toy with you. And I just kind of played dumb for a second. I was like, what are you, what are you talking about? And she proceeded to say, you have a vibrator with you. So, you know, I tried to play it up. Uh, and was like, no, it's for like, like muscle knots, you know, like, bzz, like a massager. And then she pulls it out. She knows exactly where it is in my bag. And it's bright pink. <laughs> there wasn't really anything I could say. Like, you can't argue with the fact, like, it's a sex toy. So yeah, that was fun. So they took my bag, they took my passport. Okay, so they take my passport, they take my bag and they lead me to like the customs office. And I'm like in this room with a bunch of like customs officers and they're like asking me a bunch of questions. And mind you, like they're holding my passport at this point. All this for a vibrator, man. It's crazy. Like I, I mean, just imagine if it was a, if it was a, a weapon or something like that i mean she's getting accosted in question all because she had a vibrator an adult toy in her bag her own personal bag like it wasn't dangerous it's not uh considered a weapon it's not nothing to mass destruction or anything like that. It is a bright pink, probably pretty, vibrator. And they, they, they putting her through it for that. And I'm just like, kind of like, what the fuck? Like, you know, it's been a really long flight. Like, I'm trying to get home or to like where I was staying. Um, and they made me sign, I wish I had it with me, but they made me sign a sheet to consent for them to destroy my property. And it's for like sexual objects. But mind you, like they're holding my passport, like I don't have another choice. And I tried to convince this woman because they're holding my drone. So I knew that I was going to have to go back to the customs office before I left anyway to pick up my drone. And I was like, can't you just like put them together? Like I can pick them up when I leave. And she's like, no, like, sex toys are illegal. Like, we have to destroy it. Sex toys are illegal in Dubai. Just like uh, screaming at a, at, a, at a customer service agent is illegal in Dubai. I'm kind of tripping. I'm, I'm, I'm like her in a little bit. Like, I mean, you, you'll keep my drone in a you know in a place so that i can return to get it later but you can't put my vibrator with it 
Maybe it's illegal to bring it into the country, just like it's illegal to bring the drone into the country. So this wouldn't it be okay to just leave it with, with the drone and I could come back and pick it up later? A vibrator. A vibrator. Make it make sense, man. Yada, yada, yada. Like, okay, fine, whatever. Oh, God, it was so sad. Like, I just, I kind of wanted to cry because, like, that vibrator. You know what? I mean, but, yeah, so I got detained. And that was, like, a whole thing. Like, it was weird because, like, the vibrator was such a bigger deal than, like, the drone. Like, that was, like, a secondary thing. And it was very apparent that that's how they were spinning it. I'm glad this young lady finds, uh, you know, finds comfort. And, and after all of the ordeal that happened to her, I'm, I'm glad she was able to walk away, you know, uh, you know, with a, with a, you know, with a good situation. Uh, I'm just kind of glad that the outcome was, was, was a good outcome. You know, let's, let's same thing. I'm hoping for a uh, sassy trucker. I'm, I'm hoping her outcome is, is a great outcome as well. You know, I mean, it's just, you know, the comments of my first video. I mean, I understand you guys. Woo! You guys in the comment section are savage, boy. I tell you, uh, it's savagery. Comment section, savage. I mean, you know, leave a comment, though. I mean, you know, it's an opinion. Everybody has one. But uh, but I, I hope her situation, you know, turns out to be a good one. And she's able to come home. Uh, able to put this ordeal behind her just like this young lady she was able to come home she got her drone she was able to put this behind her and and got her another vibrator it's, it's like sex toys big deal drone okay we'll hold it not a big deal so yeah that was a whole thing it was crazy it was literally insane um so yeah uh, I was only there two days. I don't think I would go back. Uh, and that's not just because of the whole entering detainee situation. It's more than that. But leaving the country was even very difficult. So I left plenty of time to get to my flight. It's an international flight and I knew I needed to pick up my drone. So I left like three hours. Like that's plenty, right? It's not that big of an airport. Right, and I've been traveling enough that I know my way around. Like, I get to flights quick. I I never really have issues with flights. Um, so I have plenty of time to get my drone, or I, so I thought. And I couldn't get a straight answer from anyone where to pick it up, like at all. So finally, I figure out that I have to go through these doors that say I can't enter, from where the like the arrivals are coming in and go back into the customs office that I got detained in, like I wanted to be back there. So had to like go in a non-entry door, right, mind you, and then like all the arrivals are coming in, go to the customs office and show them the sheet that I had to sign for them to hold it and get it back. Okay, cool. So I get my drone and I'm like leaving and the airport security guys are like, Pick, randomly picking people to screen well as I'm walking in to go get my drone I'm like pointing like customs office like they know that I'm going there to pick up something that was confiscated right they're aware of this but just to antagonize me on my way out they randomly pick me for screening again and it's like I'm trying to fucking leave but at this point because you're coming in the arrivals like it looks like you're like coming in to Dubai right so I know they're gonna hit me for my drone again. Like I literally just picked it up. So I go through the thing and of course they flag me. And I'm like, yeah, like I just got it. Like I'm trying to explain to them, like I'm showing them the sheet that I had to get to pick it up. Like this whole thing, like trying to show them my boarding pass. Like, can I leave? Like I'm just trying to leave the country. Like I'm, I gotta catch my flight. Like at this point I'm already late. Like they're, it's on the other side of the airport and they're like about to shut boarding gates. And I'm like stressed. Oh, they're like, oh, drones aren't allowed. Drones aren't allowed. like they're making a huge deal of it. Do you think they they probably did that to her at the end? You know, while her while she's on her way home, 
do you think they did that on purpose like they somebody had to see her walk that way to go to the area that she needed to go to to get her drone do you think that was purpose i i think it was i think it was i think it was purpose they they knew that she was going to uh customs to get something and when she came back out of course she had her drone in her hand and they they flagged her down on purpose and now they trying to I, I guess confiscate the drone again but she's explaining to him like bro i'm on my way out i'm trying to leave i i got the paperwork right here here's here's the thing communications don't look like it's a big thing over there when it comes to women i'm not sure if if all this would be happening if it was a man right right let me know if i'm right or wrong in the comments below because if it was a man i don't think that man would have been flagged i don't think that man would have had to go through all of the rigmarole i i think he would have just been they they would have shoot him on his way because they know that he was on his way out of the country but for them to purposely uh intimidate this woman again it's crazy and i agree with you little lady i i i wouldn't go back there either hell she said it wasn't even all that cracked up to be and and like i said before y'all you know videos you know and quote unquote influencers and these movies they make dubai looks like look like it's the tourist destination to go to <laughs> But then when you actually go there and experience it, you 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 figure out real quick that it's not a, it's not all that cracked up to be. Don't go. Don't go, y'all. I I started hysterically like sobbing. Cause like at this point, like I'm just trying to get on my flight, like Dubai fucking sucked, like I'm trying to leave. And they're just like ma'am there's no need to cry like you can't have a drone yada 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 and i'm like D let me fucking leave so then i'm in the middle of the dubai airport crying hysterically in front of everyone screaming i want to leave your fucking country right now like i'm like screaming it in the middle of the airport i'm really fortunate that i didn't get arrested but oh my god like I really just Dubai. Now she's hysterical. She was lightweight screaming. Hey, I, I'm I'm going. I just let me go. I got my stuff. Yada yada yada. Tears, snot boogers, everything is working with this young lady. She didn't get arrested. But yet a young woman of color screaming about her personal belongings and she can't get it back she gets arrested big cheese got it locked